In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to gereference a raster image and then uh, convert the image into a KML uh, using Global Mapper application. So first of all, we need to uh, take a look at the data and then uh, proceed. So this is called uh, registry index map. And then uh, you can see that uh, on the left hand side, on this on the edge, we have the longitudes that are running across. And then at the bottom, we have uh, the longitude so for you to georeference uh, an image or for, for you to do a georeference you need at least uh, three ground control points so in this map as you can see we have this um, drone control here the grids and then uh, you have the values of these grids so I have already typed the these values you can see uh, these values are in local uh, coordinate system called Cassini. So what I did, I tapped the uh, coordinate, then converted them to uh, UTM. So you need to convert your uh, data into a UTM so uh, that it can be easy for you to uh, do an overlay. So these are the original values, the coordinates values for that I directly typed and then the in meters as indicated at the bottom of this particular map here i think somewhere here these grids values are in meters so i then uh, before i convert this to utm uh, the method that i used you first of all need to convert to feet that why I that's why i have this uh, set of uh, data right at the center here and then uh, after converting now we have the UTM coordinates so we'll be inserting this uh, UTM coordinates that's, that was we'll using to do an overlay so let's go on and then open uh, first of all let's take a look at this uh, control so identify these controls this one's here uh, for example the first one here I called it a which corresponds to uh, the coordinates right here in this Excel. We have the A. Let me just switch to UTM. So this value A belongs to this, the first uh, ground control point that I identified on this map. So you can, you can use any other feature uh, other than grids. If you have uh, beacons, uh, or markers on your survey plan you can use them those but and if you have a top map you can also use uh, physical features uh, for example you can use an intersection of a road so long as you have the coordinates values for that particular uh, junction road jun uh, intersection so this is uh, identify this one as a and then uh, the second one right here on the uh, right hand side uh, b and then at the bottom left corner we have c and then lastly d so we have the coordinates for those and we're going to use uh, those ones to uh, do the uh, georeferencing so i'm going to open up a uh, global mapper so this is the global map application for you to add an uh, data you need to click on file and then click on open data or you can simply just click on open data right here or just click on files then uh, open data navigate to uh, the location of your data mine is located on uh, desktop so right there and then I click open now just click uh, make sure that you select manually rectify image uh, this uh, radio button then you click OK and then the image just click OK the image will be loaded like that so uh, zoom you can see that we have entire image here then a zoomed value so you need to zoom in this particular uh, location but before you, you start uh, digit uh, georeferencing you first of all need to uh, assign the coordinate system for this case this i'm using a utm 
these coordinates are in uh, UTM Act 1960. So you need to first of all uh, identify the coordinate system for your data. So for you to add the coordinate system, just click on uh, select uh, projection. And then here you can uh, define. So the projection here is uh, UTM. For example, you just scroll down to UTM. You can just start typing U. Then uh, you'll see UTM right here. And um, the zone so uh, the zone datum here is the zone is uh, 37 south so if you're not sure you can uh, google uh, the place where you collected your data or uh, the place uh, where your uh, RAM belongs so mine i know is in zone 37 south so we're choosing this negative 37 and then um, of course uh, it's in meters just make sure that it's in meters and then you can click ok but uh, you can also use a code just click on select projection then um, uh, here you can search by epsg code so EPSG code for uh, UTM Act 1960 is uh, 24037, uh, 210, sorry, 21037. So if I click OK, uh, you can see uh, all the information have been populated. So I'll click OK and then uh, now I can start georeferencing. So the first corner, the first control point we said is A. Um, so you zoom in sufficiently to the that particular uh, point and then just left click and then um, you insert the points here so uh, the first one is easting then uh, the, at the bottom you have nothing so I'm going to copy just uh, right click and then copy and come here right click and then uh, paste so that's uh, for easting uh, I'll copy also the nothing and then paste and then you add points add point to list and then the label here we said this is point A okay now zoom out and go to the second point which is uh, located on the extreme right so this is the second uh, ground control point I'll just left click once then um, go to my excel right click and copy then I paste then uh, add point to list we say this one is b okay and then as you can see as we add more points you can see the errors so we adding zoom out so this b c is on the uh, left bottom corner right here so you click once then uh, you paste like so add and you call this uh, C zoom out zoom in sufficiently to the last point you 
also uh, do uh, control C control V now uh, when you're finished when you're done just click apply and then you click OK then OK now uh, your image is uh, georeferenced properly as you can see at the bottom here you can see that uh, we have the correct uh, coordinates running now uh, for you to convert this to I think now you're done with the Excel I can just minimize that now that uh, we have this so to convert this to uh, KML uh, what you need to do just click on the file tab go to uh, export and then you click on uh, web export web format and then make sure that you select KML stroke uh, KMZ but you have two the, there is one for vector specifically for vector and then we have uh, this one for any raster or for any data as image so you choose on that and you click OK now the bottom you just uh, click OK and then uh, select the place where you want to store your KML file and give it a name for uh, for example you're going to call this one um, Dabi, that's that's the name of uh, this uh, RM. So we call it like so. And then you click uh, save. Now that uh, your KML has been saved, you can as well uh, save this, just control or you can just click on um, save here so that you can save your work and call this um, Derby. like so give it any name and then you click on save so we can minimize this and go to uh, the location where you have our KML and then if you have uh, Google Earth Pro installed you can simply double click on uh, the KML file to load on uh, Google Earth Pro and it will fly to the location where you have your where your image is supposed to be now you can see uh, we have that particular uh, raster image in the correct position so I can simply deactivate this to view the background image so it's as simple as that and uh, I hope uh, this video is uh, helpful see you in the next tutorial